Alright, so I just wanna you chill the fuck out there, huh? My thrall just heal it. You dumb ethereal slut! Is this what it felt like to watch Remembrant paint? Or to sit in the room with Bach as he composed his greatest overtures? Or even to listen in on Epsti er, pff, Epstein's? Einstein's conversations as he worked toward general relativity. I may not have experienced those moments of genius. But I feel as if I am witnessing something equally as great as I sit here in chat and watch Mammal die at Cox over and over. I raise a glass to you, my streamer. WHAT?! WHAT?! <laughs> my prayer ran out for one fucking tick, dude! Oh my god. God. I mean, I can't really come. I mean, I I did I did have Prey Mage turned off. I don't know what their max hit is, but thirty three, thirty two in the same tick. Oh, good God. <laughs> the last thing. Yep. Oh, we got a purple. Oh shit. Okay. 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 I'm pretty sure I died twice this raid. I'm pretty sure I died to tightrope and to mutadial. Um, well, since you're in the room, would you do the honors of opening the chest to see what it is? I'm not really lucky. Uh, honey, I still don't have a Tebow, so neither am I. It's fair. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a... That's a... That's what I got the first time. The last time I did a raid, that's what I got. So, we have the same luck, really. The last two purples were both arcane, so it is what it is. Yeah, it's my only purple. Well, <laughs> it's the worst item you can get, unlucky. Well, with the Bellator Vestige obtained from the Whisperer and a purple obtained from Cox, I think it is time we start on the fourth and final ring grind of the DT2 bosses, and that is Leviathan. I'm actually pretty excited to do Leviathan because this is the first time in a long time I can use my Bofa and it's actually the meta. Like, I'm, I'm not just using the best of what I have. Like, it's actually better than the Twisted Bow for regular Leviathan. So, I get to use best in slot range again. Kind of. It, technically, it's true. What? What do you mean, spade full of coke leech? <gasps> Who the hell is feeding these leeches? What the hell is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> there's no. What's the other one? There's a, there's, there should be a second one, right? I just see the one. I don't know. The fuck, dude. <laughs> Those XP drops never get old, man. My God. Serpentine solo. I have no idea what that is, but we've done a CA on our literal first killback. I don't know what I did, but cool. Bronze arrows. Why do they do that, bro? Why does every DT2 boss gotta drop something bronze? That's so dumb. Did I just... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Shit. Well, that's not good. So the Bofa, of course, is my main weapon for killing Leviathan, but I'm gonna bring my Armadillo crossbow and ruby bolts. And I'm going to start every fight by shooting it with the crossbow at least a few times to see if I can get some lucky rubies. As far as I know, that's kind of a big part of the Grandmaster speed kill time, is you just got to hope that you get a bunch of ruby bolt specs anyway. So, uh, what I'm going to do is at the start of every kill, I'm going to shoot my crossbow. If I get a ruby, I'll try for another. And then, you know, maybe we'll get a, a, the GM time kind of passively without going too out of our way. Okay, the ruby. Ruby again. Okay! Okay. Alright, Bofa. Ball's in your court. Let's go. I should have gone for the third, man. I should have gone for the third. This actually might be pretty good. Oh! I got two of them done! One thirteen? Woo! Holy shit! Oh, oh, baby! I don't know what the fat. I don't know what the grandmaster is. I think it's sub one ten. 
So we are only three seconds off the Grandmaster. God damn! We were cooking! That's sick, actually. I think if I can count... Yeah, that was number five. I'm not gonna lie, I was sweating my ass off. I have no food and seven HP left, but I knew that was the fifth kill if I got it perfect. And we did. We <laughs> that was a close one. There's perfect Leviathan done. Got that one done way sooner than I did the other bosses. I'm gonna die, oh my god, Telly. How are we doing today, notice me, Plocks? What? In what universe did I click on the boat? What? Nah, I gotta review the footage. There's no way I clicked on the boat. There's no chance. Uh. Again! I got, I gotta highlight this thing so I can see its click box. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Mark object. I need to see this thing's click box. Nah. God damn it. <laughs> Again! Unfortunately, the spade full of coke leech has been deleted with a bucket leech. Very boring. I will be upgrading it to a, um, <clears throat> weird gloop leech. <laughs> I'll never tell how to make it. If I get hit by a falling boulder, I am going to die. No! Oh god, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, it was it. <laughs> I saw. It was it was just a supply drop. We're alright. <laughs> That's never a good feeling. When you double death, it's like, oh please don't be the vestige, bro. I have been waiting for this drop. 225 dragon bolts. I can make these into rubies and stop using these stupid adamant bolts. I've I've been waiting for that drop. Oh, the smoke quarch. I don't know why, I thought that was my first one. I think it was because of the little jingle sound effect. Maybe uh, associated with a collection log pop-up. No, I definitely already have one of those. But that's my first... I guess technically my first Leviathan drop since uh, coming here. So, eh, you know, get the ball rolling. Get us started with something. Hey, Awakener's Orb. That's my first one from Leviathan. It's always uh, first for everything. Hello? 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 All right, that was not my fault. Don't at me. So I've been looking at the combat achievements for the Leviathan, and of course I've got the Grandmaster Speed Kill, and I've got the Awakened Kill. But there's one more that I haven't done yet, and it's a bit odd. Kill the Leviathan using only Mithril Ammunition, while having no more than 25 hit points throughout the entire fight. Now, of course, I don't have a Twisted Bow to use Mithril Arrows, so, uh, Mithril Darts in the Blowpipe it is. We'll see how terrible this is. I don't have the blowpipe tiles, so this is gonna- I'm dead! I'm dead! <laughs> I knew I ran too early, too. As soon, as soon as I clicked, I was like, yeah, that's too early. Just die already! Okay, surely. I, I think I met all the criteria. Yeah, oh, and we're rewarded with some dragon bolts. There is unconventional completed. That was, I mean, I don't know, like a minute slower than my normal kills. It wasn't that bad. Last kill of the day, unless I get more food. Oh, god damn it, that baited me. Get out of here. <laughs> I mean, cool and all, but that uh, baited the shit out of me. What? How the hell was that melee distance? Fuck off. I believe it is time for a change. We have been rocking the piss crystal for quite a while, and frankly, it's not really brought us any luck. Now, I've actually never rocked the blue crystal before, but I've seen it, and I think it looks pretty clean. Yeah, it's kind of nice, dude. I mean, it doesn't match the boots all that well, but it's, it's, a, it's a nice dark blue, at least the under part is. I kind of I kind of like that. It's clean. Wow, Jordan. Nice one. Yeah, this is, this is the part of the kill where I swap to my, uh, my bow of Ferdinin. That's definitely in my inventory. <laughs> Man. First ruby, second ruby, third, third ruby! I try for four. FOUR RUBIES! <laughs> this is- Both of them just don't suck. Listen to me, 
Bofa, all you have to do is not be ass as you hit two zeros in a row. Oh my, please. This is gonna be the best shot I've got at this. STOP HITTING ZEROS! I'm- I'm so sad. Look at this shit. Look at this! I'm- I'm at- I'm distraught. What a throw. My god. There's no way I'm gonna ruby that many times in a row again, man. Minute 13. Oh my god. That is the easiest sub one. I matched my PB. I, I literally counted at least five Bofa zeros. Oh, dude. <laughs> that's, that's actually depressing. Fuck. You guys are in the fourth. Hey, an elite clue scroll. Ooh, that is my third elite. I think all I'm missing is a hard then. I might, uh, I might go pursue that. Go grab a hard clue manually and go do some masters. Okay. I don't know if it's the camera angle or what. But the, the camp dweller down there by the stools looks like three feet tall at best. She looks incredibly... Let me stand next to her. So, so, no, no, I think she's pretty goddamn short. That is a kid. No, I wanted to talk to you! Ah! I'm sorry! I, no, no, I wanted to talk to you! Oh, God. No, I'm sorry! There... You're... No. I did not just run all the way down Castle Draken, and my stash unit is empty. Oh, fuck me, dude. We got three master caskets to open. Oh, look at that little... I want that little gnome child. That's adorable. Uh, distracted. Anyway. Uh, Archaeus Hood. Not a collection log slot. Uh, Master Scroll Book. Obviously not new. And... The nutsack. Okay, that was worth about uh, 1.5 mil. I so. was close. You were about 50% off, but close, <laughs> yeah. That's, sure. Well, that is going to be Leviathan kill number 300. A bit disappointing that through 300 kills we have no loot whatsoever, but... I mean, as much as I spooned the Whisperer, I, <laughs> I have no room to complain. I frankly expect this boss to be super dry. So, uh, oh god, gotta go. I always forget, this is the one DT2 boss that, for whatever reason, you don't wake up. It wakes itself up. Well, anyway, I think I'm gonna do raids for the next couple of days, leading up to Varlamor. And, uh, well, we'll see you maybe next week, Leviathan, after I'm done with Varlamor content. Oh my... <laughs> You know, it's not very often you kill a lizard man, shaman, and raids and get a beam over your loot. That is a curved bone over there. Okay, hear me out. Listen. They should have made it so you have a chance to get a dragon warhammer from the shamans and raids because that's the same damn drop rate. Oh, I did it again! No! No, I did the blessing with the crossbow again! And it's a fucking CM! I'm 42 minutes deep! Oh, no! I didn't learn! No, man! There's no way I got another one! I got a curve bone from a lizard man shaman yesterday. Now I get one from Little Mutadile. These things are one in a 5k, man. Jesus. I mean... Yay, construction XP. Wahoo! Okay. Last chance at a purple before Vorlamor. Do the thing. Come on, Ohm. Lame. Lame.
And with that, we are now on to Varlamore. This is a very highly anticipated update because there is so much stuff that is coming out with Varlamore. The biggest thing, of course, is the Colosseum, which gives the new best-in-slot range cape. It's a wave-based activity, so think of it as like the uh, Inferno, but for the range cape. Uh, the difference is, it's only 12 waves, as opposed to the Inferno, which is 69. The difference is, uh, these waves are a little bit harder than the Inferno. So I would say, mechanically, the Colosseum is way harder than the Inferno, but also way faster, so you can try more. Um, obviously, this is day of release, and, um, there really is no require- As long as you can get to Varlamore, you can go to the Colosseum. So that was the first thing I did once I got to Varlamore. Obviously... I know myself, like, I'm not gonna be one of the people who's, like, in the running for first, you know, completion. So I just tried it a little bit, I got up to wave 6, and then got shit on, and I was like, you know what? I've had my fill of playing around with it, I'm gonna go explore the rest of what Varlamore has to offer. You notice an urchin distract a wealthy citizen nearby. Oh, I got a house key? Okay, so we use the key, we're in the house... And now we get to Pilver, 45 XP a pop, so it's just like one click and chill thieving XP. And that is Twilight's Promise completed, that is quest number one from Varlamore done. Kind of a good like introductory quest to the area, you know, it kind of sends you all over the map, makes you talk to lots of different people. It gives you, gives you a vibe for the lore of Varlamore. With that completed, we should be able to do, well, really any of these quests. You got Perilous Moons. I mean, I can do that right away. Ooh, and then we can actually try the content. Okay, let's do it. And there is the Perilous Moons completed. 40,000 Slayer XP and 5k rune crafting, Hunter, and Fishing. Not bad. Now, I believe because I fought all the bosses during the quest, you do actually get a reward I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Gate's closed. Um, oh, do you have to go to the ancient shrine to get your loot? Is that how you do it? Okay, fine. I'll get a unique from the chest from the quest. Oh, at Lattle Darts, 34 water orbs, 15 Harlanders, 7 super compost. Okay, I don't know what the hell an at Lattle Dart is. I don't think it's actually unique though, because otherwise there's no way I would get 161 of them. It's ammo. So the Perilous Moons is kind of the mid-tier PVM content to come from Varlamore. Uh, the Colosseum is the big boy, and this is the mid-tier. Jagex has compared it to Barrows, and honestly, I could see that. Uh, it's kind of similar to Barrows in that there's three bosses to kill. Once you kill all the bosses, you get to loot the chest and repeat. I personally think, uh, mechanics-wise, they're not too difficult. Um, and obviously, I'm, you know in full Torva and a Scythe, so the average person isn't, you know, it's not really designed for people in that gear necessarily, so I do kill them pretty quickly. Um, but mechanically, they're not too terribly hard, but they do require a bit of learning, which is good because it, you know, helps people to get better at the game by practicing new mechanics. Um, but other than that, aesthetically, this place looks amazing. Each of the bosses... The designs of the rooms, the animations of their attacks and stuff. I mean, compared to the Colosseum, th this is what I feel like. They put a lot of work into, like, the difficulty of the Colosseum. And they went hard on the aesthetics of the Perilous Moons. Because the Perilous Moons looks infinitely better than the Colosseum does. But it's obviously easier. So, they kind of went, you know, halvesies on each. Um, at any rate, I'm a really big fan of this content. I'm probably going to make a guide soon, I think. I, I feel like I understand it well. Um, and yeah, I, I enjoyed it a lot, and I was like, hey, I can grind this out. I can't do the Coliseum, but I can grind this out today. Oh! Oh! I got the Eclipse Aladdle. I got a thingy. The Are these the... I don't know what it is. Let's see. Hey, uh, looks like melee weapons to me. I think. No, definitely not. It's definitely a bow. Yep. Definitely a bow. So do you use the, the dart thingies? Yeah, surely. Oh. 
A powerful throne weapon forged from an eclipse. Oh. It's literally... I think it's a melee weapon. It's got fucking range options. Okay. This is the bow that goes off of melee strength, no? Oh. If it does, then I've already got the right gear on. I'm already ready. Okay, here we go. To my understanding, this is a range weapon that rolls based off of your melee strength. Let's ensure that that is correct. Yeah, yep. I do hit harder with my melee gear on. Max hit of 34. Do I want to use Rigor? I do want to use Rigor. Okay, that is now a max hit of 41. What's the attack speed? Four ticks. Okay. Alright, max hit of 41. Four ticks. Let's just do it. Oh, there's a special attack. Heron, you can fuck off. This, the weapon, wait, the magic of this weapon won't activate without the full Eclipse Moon set. Ah, okay. If each lizard gives you one cut of meat, how many lizards of fish do you cut for the fish to lizard the meat? I'm too fucking tired for you to be talking like that, alright? This person's username is Bussy Humper. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, uh, you gotta love some right-click roulette, baby. Oh! Oh! Eclipse Moon Helm! At first, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, is that a fucking carrot? <laughs> I, 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 before the little collection log, I was like, I, I swear to God, that's a carrot. Well, let's slap it on. Uh, <laughs> it's a little goofy looking, it's a little, little goofy looking. So, does that go Eclipse Moon Helm? I'm pretty sure I got the Eclipse Alatol thingy. So I'm pretty sure that's the same armor set then. I, I think, so that's good, that's good. It's, it's like if the Armadil Helm was a vegetable, you know? <laughs> and with that helm, I decided to take a break and go knock out the other quests in the Varlamore area. There were four new quests that came out today, which is crazy. One update, four new quests. Now, the first one was kind of like an introduction to Varlamore. The second one I did was the Perilous Moons. And then the third one unlocks the uh, the Hunter's Guild. Well, it doesn't unlock the Hunter's Guild, but it unlocks like the highest tier contracts, which obviously I'm going to do because I'm 99 Hunter. So I pretty much had to do the quest. He's loafing. This is what this game has been missing, man. We have always needed a cat that's loafing on his little cat bed. And there is At First Light completed. That's a fun little, uh, fun little easy quest. Another one, you know, again, these quests are not particularly hard or particularly long, but they seem pretty well written. So with that completed, I think I can now start doing Hunter's Guild contracts, or as they call them, uh, rumors. Rare Red Salamander. Bring back one of its claws. Okay. Hey, you find a rare piece of the creature. You should take it back to the Hunter's Guild. Yeah, see, that was probably like... I don't know, that couldn't have been more than like 20 to 30 red salamanders. See, and it's like, ah, see, now I'm happy, right? Like, ah, oh, I got, you know, I got good luck. Instead of just, well, here I got, I gotta catch these, uh, you know... It has a degree of luck to it, which is always good in our RNG Jagex game. Okay, uh, thanks for that. Okay, so I got 6.2k Hunter XP for handing that in. And what is in the Hunter's loot sack? One bird nest, four raw kayak, six raw sunlight antelope, and some sun-kissed bones. Now, the Quetzal feed, um, this is used to unlock more fast travel locations, I believe, so that's good. I think one singular bird nest is quite unlucky, though. I, I've heard that uh, you generally get more than that. So if you haven't seen it yet, this is the pet that you can get by doing the new hunter contracts. I am a very big fan. That is a... That is that is a pretty burb. That's a... That, 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 that's at least an A-tier pet right there, surely. We're a corker of a hop. Excellent work. 
Next up we have Cuthbert. <laughs> well, he's dead. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, totally slipped my mind, but he never learned how to swim. A frog that never learned to swim? Are you serious right now? Afraid so. Cuthbert is now as dead as an old one. With only one contender left standing, I can now announce that Sue is the winner. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I thought the frog was holding the axe. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually thought the frog had the axe right there for a sec. You. But, oh my god. Cuthbert didn't die. He's back for his revenge. He's he's in the bin. I'm sorry. Now okay, now he's dead. Now now he's actually dead. Hello. His little ear flap. His little uh, his little ear flap. And that is the riveting tale of a lily pad labor dispute. Completed access to a new hardwood farming patch. Ooh, nice. Uh, and that is my quest cape re-obtained. That is all of the Varlamore quests done, probably until batch two, which I will sure I'm sure will bring more. Oh! Eclipse Moon chest plate! How lucky am I, dude? I, I got the I got the Eclipse Moon helmet, right? There's like, there's like three armor sets. What are the odds I keep getting Eclipse Moon pieces? Unless, and it's obviously way too soon to know. Unless there is some sort of mechanic that like... When somebody asked about this earlier, like, Oh, do you reckon there's mechanics that help you finish full sets faster? I don't know. Maybe. That's, that's three Eclipse Moon pieces in a row. 41. 19. 63. 56, 60, 33. Bro, the Elder Maul slaps for that phase. Holy shit. I basically just did 100% of his health during that phase of the Elder Maul. Oh, we got a weapon. Blue Moon Spear. Okay, okay. So uh, we're back on the hypothesis thing. I think that you can roll any of the sets, but when you roll that set you always get it in a certain order. Like, you always get the weapon first. So the fact that I got three Eclipse Moon pieces in a row, that was that was by chance. But I think it's always going to go helmet, or no, sorry, weapon, then helmet, then body, then legs. So that is the Blue Moon Spear. Interesting. This is like a hybrid, like, melee magic. Whoa, that's weird. That is a new interface. You got melee options, you got magic auto cast. That's weird. <laughs> Looks funny. Oh, okay. So it gives 5% magic damage, which is the same as like what the Aram staff gives, for example. Um, wow. Stab, slash, and crush bonuses, obviously in max melee, are all about 100. Melee strength is 138. Comparatively, a rapier and defender is 164. So, I mean... That's not that much worse. It is 5 tick and not 4 tick, though. And it looks like its magic bonus is 30. So, damn, that's that's really not that bad. I don't know, that, that, that could be kind of nice. Again, all these weapons and stuff, it's not like they're ever going to be best in slot. Like, you're going to use this forever, but... There's going to be stages of an Iron Man or maybe even a regular account's playthrough where... It could be your best in slot for at least a while. Boom! Eclipse Moon Tassets, sets, and we have completed the Eclipse Moon set. Okay. I gotta go to the bank and grab the other pieces. That's it. That is the Eclipse Moon set done. Okay. On 45 kill count. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the drop rates are, but I guarantee I'm on the lucky side. Let us see the new full set in all of its glory. I really like the body and the legs. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of the hat, as I made clear earlier. 
But the top and bottom actually do look pretty cool. Okay, it's based off of your range strength or your, your melee strength. So I don't know if I'm supposed to range, pot, or super combat. Probably range because I know rigor makes it better. But let's try this on mutated blood belts because they have like no defense. They should be a great thing to try it on. Now I saw that they are four tick, but four tick is like their accurate. Oh my, I'm slapping. Four tick is like their nor. That animation is so sweet. Oh, two stacks spec. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, so it like it like quote unquote redeems the burn stacks equivalent of damage, but does it right away. Huh. I mean, again, I'm not gonna be using this. But it is pretty cool, and it could be relevant at some mid-game tier. It's pretty cool. Chest number 50. Let's see if we can end on one more item. We cannot. 50 chests, though, I got four items. No, no, five, rather. Because I got the weapon, the helm, the body, the legs, and then the staff as well. So, five weapons in 50 chests. I definitely suspect that that is... Lucky? I, I doubt the drop rate is 1 out of 10. I would be shocked.